starting in your health. A local newlywed couple received an unexplainable diagnosis just days after their honeymoon. The husband contacted Channel 3 with the hopes of finding a donor to save his wife's life and also to spread awareness. In one word, how would you describe your wife? Amazing. Twelve years ago, David Apuzo met the love of his life, Becky Houle. Last May, he popped the question to her, and the two were married on May 24th, 2015. The wedding was perfect. Everything was, I mean, you couldn't script it any better. Looking back, though, David remembers how fatigued his 31-year-old wife was leading up to the wedding. We just thought, you know, she's just tired, the stress and the excitement and everything. But what everyone passed off as a normal pre-wedding symptom turned out to be the start of something much more. About halfway into their nine-day Hawaiian honeymoon, Becky started to notice the whites of her eyes were turning yellow. I finally spoke up. I said, what's going on? And, you know, she told me she was doing a little bit of research on her own and it might be her liver. After returning home to Connecticut, David took Becky right to the doctors. Less than 12 hours later... They said, we got your blood test back. You need to go to the ER. Doctors diagnosed Becky with acute liver failure. Seven weeks and one hospital transfer later, Becky is still in the ICU. You want to get married, you want to go on your honeymoon, you want to start your life together, and we're starting our life in the hospital. Yale New Haven Hospital's Dr. David Mulligan has closely been monitoring Becky's condition. Something happened to Becky that she was exposed to that we don't really know. It caused her liver to develop um, a disease that continues to fail. David says he's perplexed as to how this could have happened to his wife. She's very um, conscious to like what she's putting into her body, what, uh, you know, working out, eating right, doesn't drink, doesn't smoke, doesn't do drugs. Suddenly, for better or for worse, began to take on a whole new meaning for this newlywed couple. You see how well she's doing and how she feels, but the... The insides are telling a different story, mm -hmm. and that's what's scary about it. There's a lot of factors that just aren't recovering, and if this is the course she's going to be going down, we need to make sure that we get the transplant before it gets too late. Right now, there are over 122,000 people on the waiting list for solid organ transplants in the U.S., 1,500 of those in Connecticut. And every day, 22 Americans die because there aren't enough organs available. That's why we have to think about things like living donation as a potential solution um, to, to really save lives. Becky, who has a rare B blood type, just found out that she can receive a liver from a living donor. The liver has this amazing capacity to regenerate. Doctors are able to take about 50 to 60 percent of a donor liver and give that to a recipient. And in as little as six to eight weeks... It actually grows, reproduces new cells and grows to a full-size organ and it's fully functional. So as Becky awaits her match, she and her husband have committed themselves to raising awareness on the importance of becoming a donor. We're going to give back because everyone's given us so much that we want to do something good. For more information on how you can help Becky, head to our website, WFSB.com. We also posted an extended version of that interview with Yale New Haven's Dr. Mulligan.